Welcome back to the Modern Day Cottage. I'm Emily Ryder, and this is my daughter, Ruby Ann, that's in the video right now. We are gonna share with you some homemade recipes today, some festive Christmas homemade recipes. First up is some mulled cider and some cranberry orange sourdough bread. It's absolutely scrumptious. It does not last more than two days in here at our cottage. And we're also gonna show you how we make our homemade vanilla extract using spice rum. All right, we're making mulled cider with freshly juiced apples. We will put the link for the products that we are using here in our video down below. And again, we do make a small commission on any affiliate links that you click on and purchase from those links. And this comes to no cost to you. So we're gonna use a quart and a half of freshly juiced apples. We used um, some Gala apples and some Granny Smith apples, but you can most certainly use whatever kind of variety apples that you like or you prefer. And we're using oranges and lemons as well, as well as some seasonings. You can find this recipe at themoderndaycottage.com. We will put the link below as well where you can find that blog post. And we will also put the link for the Amazon shop for this recipe as well below. We are gonna use a mortar, mortar and pestle to grind up the fresh herbs. This is so easy to make and the taste is phenomenal compared to the store-bought apple cider that you get. Um, mulled cider will also go by the name apple cider as well. We're using vanilla extract, or homemade vanilla extract. The spiced rum is the key. That's our little pro tip there for you. And you're gonna let it simmer on the stove. The smell is, is amazing. The smell is just, it's Christmas, you know, when, when you smell that. And you're gonna use a strainer to strain, strain it with. This is what Ruby Ann is doing right now. It is so good. You can also um, use store-bought apple juice. All right, now we're making our sourdough cranberry orange bread. So you're gonna soak the cranberries overnight or for a few hours. If you have time overnight, it's best. And we're gonna let this set overnight. We're making our sourdough sponge. And you can find that recipe, again, with a link below or themoderndaycottage.com. We're using fresh orange juice. We're grinding up some rye of uh, whole wheat berries in our mop mill. We love our mop mill. This is a the mop mill professional um, series. I opted for that series because it has a stronger motor and I want this meal to last us a lifetime. It is amazing having your own grains in your kitchen. I've been milling our wheat berries since I was 21. I started out with a whisper meal, which is now called a wonder meal, which we also have that as well when we mill up um, large quantities of flour. But I love the mop meal. It's, it absolutely is my favorite meal that I have owned in the past 20 plus years. Our mixing bowls you can find 
um, online at, I will link it below, it's a place um, in the northern states that we purchased it from. They're still making these bowls from the antique cast that you find on Etsy and eBay. I wish it was double so you can go back and forth. So, so you can actually get these bowls still. All right, we're placing the soaked cranberries in with the sourdough sponge along with some more ingredients, oh, wow. the zest of an orange and the juice. And we're gonna allow this to ferment overnight and we're gonna bake it the next morning. The extra rye um, actually helps, it helps um, activate the sourdough, it just gives it a little bit more wild yeast to, because we're using bread flour, and bread flour is not got a lot of um, live enzymes in it compared to freshly milled wheat flour. You can most certainly make this totally with um, wheat berries that you grind up fresh. It's just gonna be a little bit more dense of a bread instead of as light as with the bread flour but it'll have a lot more nutrients in it if you use the wheat flour. We will share the wheat flour recipe version of this as well when we get it posted on the blog. So you're gonna do like four sessions of the stretch and fold. It's kind of hard to get this bread to really stretch because it's not as, um, it doesn't have as much liquid as a regular sourdough bread would have in it. It's not as hydrated is what I'm trying to say as a as most recipes are. You can see here it is really want to stay together. It smells so good. The oranges and the cranberries I love this time of year. Ruby and I absolutely love this time of year. It is the smells and the colors. It's just one of our favorite holiday seasons to enjoy. We brought in fresh greenery from our trees in the backyard. And we did hang our um, dried garland above the sink. After we got done with this video, we did our next video. Um, which has the dried garland tutorial in it and we can link that video below as well it's like the second part of our series of our Christmas holiday recipe recipes our Christmas holiday recipes all right I'm using rice flour to lightly line my Banton basket for the sourdough to go into to set overnight. You can set it on the counter if you if your temperature is below 70 degrees in your house, but if it's anything above 70 degrees, I highly recommend you covering it with plastic and then wrapping it in a plastic bag and put it in the refrigerator to firm it overnight. If not, it will overproof and you can still cook it and you can still eat it, but it's not going to be as um, as good as if it's not overproved. We love sourdough. There, it's just, it's so much, it has so much more nutrients in it than bread that is quickly uh, cooked with active yeast. But if you're, if you're cooking bread with active yeast, it's, it will have nutrients in it still if you're using freshly ground wheat berries. But if you're using flour from the store, I don't know if, you know, if you know this, but after you mill up flour within 72 hours, 90% of the nutrients are gone. So milling up your own fresh flour is absolutely 
a huge benefit to your health from what I've read and what I've been taught. All right, so we let it ferment overnight in the refrigerator because our house does stay around 73 degrees. At first I thought I had overproof because it's, it is so big and of course the rye helps um, activate that a lot faster and a lot quicker. All right, so now we're dusting the surface with semolina flour. This helps give a little crunch. You can use cornmeal flour as well, or you can just use regular flour, but I find that regular flour uh, makes the bottom burn, oddly enough, but the semolina flour doesn't, nor does the cornmeal. A coarsely ground cornmeal at that, if you're gonna use that. So I'm dusting the top with some more bread flour and I'm gonna mark it because I'm gonna make a Christmas tree in the middle of it. I'm going to cut. Alright, so we're using a continuous spray bottle um, to wet the top so that the rosemary that I put on it will stick to the bread as it cooks. This is what I'm using in here is called a bread lame. I will put that in our Amazon shop as well. You can make a homemade DIY bread lame with a bamboo skewer with some of those razor blades, but clean, new, thin razor blades. All right, now I'm sprinkling dried rosemary onto the tree um, outline that I did. I just did little, quick little out cuts, like um, fir, like a fir tree. And then I'm using cinnamon for the trunk of the tree. You can get creative with sourdough, it's really fun, but we don't use um, food dye on our stuff. Um, we stay away from, we try to stay away from any artificial ingredients or additives. It's not good for your gut health at all. All right, so I'm using a preheated cast iron Dutch oven. You most certainly could use like even a, um, roaster oven. You don't have to buy a specific Dutch oven for making sourdough, but I already had this Dutch oven, so I'm using what I have. Um, I've even read where you can, I'm going to try it next, you can use like a Pampered Chef um, ceramic roaster oven as well. Um, so that'd be neat to try that as well. So you cook it for 30 minutes. Um, I believe it's at 450. Don't quote me on that. Please look at the blog um, to see and um, check with the recipe. And you're gonna rescore the big lines that you did and then any design. So it really um, accentuates that design and creates an ear on your sourdough bread. Oh wait, you, you do that 15 minutes in and leave it covered for 30 minutes and then the last 15 minutes you were going to take the lid off and let it continue to cook to brown the surface of your sourdough bread. If you find that your sourdough bread is um, burning on the bottom, place a pan underneath your pan that you put your Dutch oven, I mean that you put your sourdough in or even move up your oven rack one level up. And that may help um, greatly in not having a burnt bottom of your sourdough. This bread does not last here in our cottage. It, it's like it's gone in two days. Um, it is that good. We wanted to share this with y'all because this is one of our favorite holiday sourdough um, bread. 
So maybe you can see that little Christmas tree on there. And wait till it completely cools because it's going to be cooking for an hour after you take it out of the oven. So you do not want to, to cut in it to it to it's completely cool. It is so good. It is good with just butter. Um, Ruby tried marmalade. We got marmalade that we make out of kumquats every year. And that was really, really good. It added a little different citrus note to it as well. It is so, so stinking good. It is so good. You won't regret spending the effort and time in making this sourdough bread. There's really little hands-on time with sourdough bread. All right, now we're making vanilla extract with vanilla beans from Vanilla Bean King. They are the best vanilla bean company that I have bought from and I have bought from several since I was 21 years old when I first started making my own vanilla extract. Um, I will put a link below but do know at this time we do not have affiliate link but I do have it in our Amazon um, shop as well so if you buy it through the Amazon shop we do make a small commission off that purchase but I will link the um, Facebook group that is the Vanilla Bean King group. If and when I do get an affiliate link, I will put it below. And I will share the Facebook group with you guys. And I will also link our Amazon shop as well. We are using spice rum. Any brand of spice rum will suffice. But we find that spice rum is the trick to getting a delectable vanilla extract. It is so good. It will add to your baking. It just elevates the whole taste when you add it to your baked goods, no matter what kind of baked goods you're making. So we're gonna let this set for 12 months. You can most certainly use this at eight week mark, but it's not gonna be as potent. It won't be as potent as if you let it set for the 12 month mark. So we go ahead and make some before the end of every year. And you can find the labels at the Modern Day Cottage as well when you sign up for our free printables for your vanilla extract. And we'll put that link below as well. Thank you again for watching with us today here at the Modern Day Cottage. Again, I'm Emily Ryder and my daughter is Ruby Ann. And as always, we will bring you homemade recipes, cottage living, and a cozy home. We'll see you in the next video.